Why are you hesitating? Oh, I'm not now. Oh. <laughs> no, I really <laughs> pressed it. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm sorry I yelled. Oh, my gosh. It's actually quite warm. I just got very warm. It is warm. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Um, welcome hello. to Needles at the Ready. I am Kevin. I'm Ray. We live in Stratford, Connecticut with our dog, Tarquin. We do? Um, if you're new here, we're married. We don't say that often. I feel like you've been saying it every episode lately. Because, well, we get questions. So this resolves the questions. Okay. <laughs> um, today is Saturday, May 15th. Just before 11 a.m. here on the East Coast. This is episode 37. And I think that's everything. No, because we're a fiber-related oh, podcast. Yeah. Usually say Good job. something like... Fiber-related channel. see our knitting, sometimes crochet, though not today. Oh, that rhymed. It did? Good for you. Yeah. Look at you. Not there. today by Ray. Crochet. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, and there's some new yarn dyeing, which is like a new little segment that we have. Which is fun. You've been yeah. up to some good things. Um, we've definitely made some purchases. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It's Talk actually about really yarn bad. piggery for sure. It's really bad. Yep. There's not enough room to spread anything out. So there's probably um, going to be lots of crinkling. And um, I don't know. Actually, no. Not really. Really? I didn't take things out of bags. Um, what else? I feel like I didn't knit much. But I, I don't know, have but stuff I feel to like... show. But now I feel like I don't have a lot to show, but I do have stuff to show. Yeah. But I didn't knit much, I feel like. I don't know. I think you'd be surprised. I feel like I didn't knit very much either. I don't know. Like, it's, I don't... Been, it's been a two weeks. Yeah, it's been a good two weeks, though. We had a really good two weeks. So let's yeah. start. All right. So let's go oh, back. Yeah. Two weeks. What's been going on? So we had a shop update on Etsy oh after God, the I last about episode. That. We so, did. Oh, um, I forgot to put lotion on. Do you have any lotion with you? Um, I don't think I do. Um, I do actually. There's. It's not easy to get to because it's over there. No. Um, so yeah, we had a shop Etsy shop update. So thank you to everybody who stopped yeah, that by was the shop, so made awesome. a purchase. Totally super appreciate it. You yeah. guys are amazing. How cool. Um, yeah, it's all it's And I think everybody's gotten their yarn so far. It's been really cool seeing people post on Instagram yeah. and um and you know with tagging their projects. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Super cool. Um so So you'll I'll, do another shop update. Yeah, at the end of the month. I think it's the thirty first. I'm pretty sure it's the, yeah, it's the 31st. Do I need to say the rhyme again? No, it's the 31st because um, the first is on a Monday because my birthday is the week after. Oh, yeah, your birthday is June 7th. 7th. Um, so, yeah, so we'll have Be another an old shop. man. You're going to be an old man. I know, I'm going to hit 40 in yeah, August. You're hitting a whole new decade. Oh my God. Um, so, yeah, so we did that last Sunday. So that was exciting. That took up, you know, that takes up quite a bit of a day. Your mom came over actually with Yep, my mom came Finley. over with Finley. Finley is a little, um, her new little puppy dog. I don't know if I have any, any good pictures of the two of them together. That was the first time him and Tarquin met. So that was a lot of fun. The puppy energy is a lot, y'all. It's it is. like too much. It, it changed Ray's mind about getting a second dog. Yeah, it was just enough. It was just enough. Yeah. yeah. You know, here's the, um, I don't know if you guys can really see. This is the best picture that I have. So that's the two of that's them. That's Finley down the bottom there, and that's obviously that's Tarquin, and that's my mom. Tarquin um, likes to jump up and like get up, get like the higher, the higher ground. ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they played a lot in the backyard. They were really cute around. together. Uh, yeah, they were here for a couple hours, mm-hmm. so that was nice for them to get acclimated with each other. And yeah, because um, they they will spend a good amount of time together. Normally, mm-hmm. um, your mother will bring like Finley over when. When they um when she comes over, so they'll get used to each other. So that was the last weekend. Then during the week we worked. Well, so you finished school. Yep. So you um. Well, that wasn't. That was. That was last weekend. Right, but the shop update was two weeks ago. So I'm going in chronological order. Oh, okay. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> Proceed. Uh, you look pretty tan. Oh, do I? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. You're like golden. Golden. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty pasty. I need my legs are white as hell. Oh, I know they blinded me the oh, other day. I know. I need to. We're sitting on the deck. I need to sit in the sun. Yeah, for I needed a while. to grab my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're whew, they're bad. Well, because now we're in shorts weather, so now we've got to like. I know it's gonna. Be, it's like seventy three degrees today. We're gonna be in the eighties next so week. So nice. Air conditioners are going in. No, not yet. Not yet. No. Sleep with a ceiling fan on. Well, maybe we'll, okay. put the, maybe we'll put the bedroom air conditioner in. Um, so work during the week. Nothing crazy there, I don't think. Um, and then last weekend, on Saturday, I got my second 
COVID shot. You so sure I'm did. vaccinated. And guys, my reaction to that was not a fun time. No. I woke up at like 2, 33 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I wish I could <laughs> show the severity of how much I was shaking because I was cold. Um, it was not fun. Like, No, I, it was a... Yeah, it was like I... Um, like that. Right. Like I went to go trek in Alaska fully mm-hmm. unprepared with just like shorts and a t-shirt on. Right. Um, it was not a good time. Although your legs would have blended into the snow. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> um, so I had to literally to fall asleep. I had to... I was wearing pajama pants, a t-shirt, socks, a sweatshirt with a hood, yep. a bathrobe with a hood, my hatch hat. And then I went downstairs and slept on the couch because I didn't know if I was going to be able to fall asleep. So I went downstairs, lay down on the couch, threw on three blankets, and my hands and my face were cold. I actually like contemplated going to get my gloves and a uh, cowl to throw on and like cover my, at least up to my nose. Um, but I only got like then three hours of sleep, and then I was pretty much out of commission Sunday. Yeah, and into Monday. the like, beginning actually, of Monday. Your mother. That's right. Your mother came over that Sunday, but not with Finley. She just stopped by briefly because she dropped Finley off at the groomers that Sunday, oh yeah it was mother's day right mother's day your mom came over um briefly i yep. spoke with my mom on the phone yep and then i was done um happy, Sunday. happy belated mother's day to all your yeah, mothers happy. out there and then what else um i didn't go to work on monday because i still wasn't feeling great i just kind of felt like i had the flu the next couple of days um but yeah so one more week and i'll be like fully vaccinated. yeah fully vaccinated. <laughs> um the word. and what else then we went to the oh, yarn, our local yarn shop. We did. So as a celebratory so nice. event, we went to Knit New Haven right yeah. after I got my vaccine. We did. We spent about an hour, hour and a half in the shop, something mm-hmm. like that. Got to chit chat, look at yarn, buy some stuff. We bought a lot of things. We did. We, yep. we but it was nice. Things. It was really nice to like touch the yarn, you Just, know, look at things and walk away and then come back to it. I think that's like, that's the fun part of like shopping in person especially for yarn you know online like you see things and then you contemplate it and then maybe you go back but like here you get to like really touch it and hold it next to something else and you know make like it's a really cool interactive experience i liked it a lot um hence why we bought a few things yep so i get distracted really easily in a yarn shop it's so funny now though you being in a yarn shop being a knitter whereas a year and a half ago you being not being a knitter, no. trying to f- decide how to use yarn to crochet because mm-hmm. even though you know how to crochet, you don't crochet often enough to be like, oh, I'm going to crochet right. a shawl well, even or a then, blanket right. or a hat. Or, you know, like right. it, it's, it was at that point when you were crocheting, it was um It was a lot of my random. own things. Yeah, I would yeah, do like It was my, makeup stuff. I would make up my own things. So I it was very rare that I followed like an actual pattern unless right. it was like anima, amigurumi or... Yeah. I did a couple of... I don't think I've ever done, like, a big shawl. No, you haven't. No. But anyway, so it was very different. Yes, it's very different going into a yarn shop as a knitter now. And knowing, like, patterns and having, like, seeing other people, um, like, post patterns or when we're watching, like, podcasts to, like, you know, you file those things away and you're like, oh, that would be a really cool, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Fun stuff. Good times. Yeah, and I think that's about it. I think that's... Our two weeks has been pretty... It's actually, you know, it's been nice to see people. Um, Have you seen people? Well, we saw your mother. Oh, I think, yeah. We went to the yarn yes. store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. And Tarquin had to go to the vet for his annual checkup. So expensive. Yep. And he was having some GI Well, things. he's been having GI issues for like six months, it feels like. So we got some medicine to try, and they wanted us to do a food trial with him, but it's very difficult. Tarquin does not eat people food. We're no. very good about not giving Tarquin people food. However, he has treats for special occasions throughout the day well no yes. well kind of so he gets mm-hmm. a toothbrush with every meal right mm-hmm. but it's his final dinner dinner is like i think he just perked up when you said that word he needs to get it under control because that is so not happening but when it's time for dinner like we him and i do a training session afterwards yep then he does um he gets this little like bag that he has treats in to try to mentally stimulate him so it's a process Mm -hmm. but we can't cut all that then he also gets some joint health thing or whatever Oh, he gets a joint health Mm -hmm. he gets a calming thing he gets a probiotic right oh an allergy thing which 
Y'all, it actually works. What allergy thing? The the immunity thing. The um, oh, I thought that was for his belly. Well, it's an immunity thingamajig. I for, it's zesty paws. It's zesty paws immunity oh. something. So it helps if they lick their paws a lot, like things like that. It's yeah. And it also has probiotics in it. So it's actually been really beneficial for him. Mm. I've, I see a difference when he um, has that. But yeah, he gets too much stuff to try to do a food trial and cut out all of that stuff. It's not going to happen. So we'll put that in the back of our minds. But he seems better already. Yeah, he's so, fine. Yeah. And they give us um, some cream to put on his little... Coolie. Coolie. Which... Okay. We're done with our two weeks. That's a wrap on the two weeks. Correct? Yes. So... I was off the past couple of days. I was off Thursday and Friday. You were. I took a little PTO. Needed a little bit of a refresh. It's nice to take a, like a day or two just here or there. I'm going to take a week off in beginning of June and then probably again in August. I will maybe take the week off in June for my birthday. Yeah, that's the week I'm going to take off too. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much our bit in our two that's weeks. That's pretty much it. So let's talk about um, the little ad mini stuff. Oh, yeah, we well, have a few admin things. Mm-hmm. So let's do coupon codes. So we have we four have, to mention. We have a few. All right. So, so this is exciting, and it's so exciting to us when we hear from these makers that, like, oh, we've gotten a couple of orders from, you know, using your coupon code or, you know, thank you for sending some people to our shop. It's really cool being able to, like, make those connections. So if you haven't had an opportunity to try any of these makers, you know, it would be a really cool opportunity for you to try. That's right. my plug. So... Coupon code. So I have nothing written down and whatever. So you will find all of this information down, down below. Below. In the in, description. Right. Just and that's that we, little V, right? Yeah, it'll drop down that And then down it drops little, down and it has mm-hmm. all the pretty information there. Except for those of you who are like watching on your television. Yeah, television you can't do I don't it. Think you can, you can only do, do it on a mobile device. Yeah. But our show notes are there. Our contact information is there all the yarns that we talk about the patterns that we talk about anything interesting that we show all Instagram, of our Etsy, yeah, all that's there all of our admin stuff and coupon codes it's all about all down below okay so coupon code number one comes from nancy over at trilogy yarns the coupon code is natr15 really i thought it was kevin and ray no natr15 okay and that gets you Check 15% down below our show off notes. your purchase. Maybe I'll pull up our show notes. Excluding her monthly clubs. Yes. She has, as of today, she has eight spots left in her Christmas in July advent. Oh, I just saw her post know. on Instagram. So I don't know if she'll have any left, but if you're interested and you were holding off, don't hold off any longer because she's got eight left. And next up, we have Katie. Mm-hmm. from Naughty Knitting Sacks. Wait till you see one. Which you'll I have. see one later. You sure will. Um, maybe even two. Do you have two? No, I have one. Okay, one later. So that one is Prickle Pants 15. That gets you 15% off your purchase mm-hmm. of some Naughty Knitting Sacks. Not all are naughty. There's some mm-hmm. calm ones. There is one. I have to reach out to her. The Star Trek? Yeah, somebody had mentioned something about some Star Trek fabric. I'm a, I'm a huge um, Trekkie, so I love Star Trek and Star Wars and all of those things. Well, those but are two different. They are completely different, but okay. I like that that genre anyway so star trek i'm playing a really cool game but should we talk about we should talk about some games too let's anyway get let's get focused so um Hello, there, my what friends. am i saying focus <laughs> stop it there <laughs> is her. a uh she had some star trek fabric i don't know like what if it was the original star trek or i don't remember it was sh- the i remember seeing like a ship like the enterprise and i remember seeing well there's quite a few Enterprises. let's just let's not get let me just reach out to me. katie and then we'll see what she you had. do you boo I'm gonna. Um, (laughs) Anywho, check her out. Prickle Pants 15 if you're all are interested. And then then we have Knit Swag, which we don't have a Knit Swag mug here. (gasps) We don't because we're not doing coffee today. Because we're not coffee because we just finished three cups each. I know. So Knit Swag swag did this, which you can't really see. No, you can't. See, and I hung Um, up my Ray Rocks thing up there. I don't want to move the... I have some Knit Swag stuff somewhere. We have a lot of swag all over the house. Oh, hold on. Do I have it here? Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm going to fall. So this is Kelly over oh. at Knit Swag. I, almost, I did almost fall. Yeah. So here's some examples of some Knit Swag stuff. In our previous episodes, oh, yeah. we showed you guys the mugs Wait, that we, we have. We have a lot of Knit Swag stuff coming up. We'll show in during our acquisition. So these are really fun. These are um, care instructions. So some nice like fair aisle prints, a bunch of different colors, and then you have your care instructions on the back. How fun. And then just some like little thank you cards. Mm-hmm. Again, 
Really pretty. I love this one. I love the black and the white or the gray Me and the too. White. Show her logos on the back of the card. Oh, yeah. We have That's her her information um, listed below. Follow her on Instagram, Oops. and then she's got her Etsy shop. Yeah, definitely check out Knit Swag. Yeah. Um, so the coupon code is Kevin and Ray. Yes, thank you. That one, I think, is also 15% off. I believe off it's 15% your off. Purchase. Yeah. So we love ourselves some Knit Swag. We sure do. Um, we, and we have a new coupon code. Oh, yeah, you do that, please. Um, Superfine Yarn Co. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. We, um, I bought some of her yarn. Oh, geez. You used it. Nope. I still have some left. You used some Lucky Penny? I did. I used, Lucky oh Penny God. in the hat, right? Yeah, or in the cow. Riotous sock base. Then, oh my gosh. We have to start knitting with some things. We need to start. Can somebody knit for me? Um, I don't know. So, I don't want to take like a bunch of stuff out. I think I know which one it is, but I'm not sure. There's a, oh, here's one. That's it. Yeah. So this is Super Fine Yarn Co. She's out of Ohio. She's out of Cleveland, Ohio. They have a podcast as well, Yarn Hellions. Um, this is on her Erie single. This is a one of a kind called Charmer. This, this I got a while ago. Um, so I'm not quite sure like what's in her shop, but um, you can find her on superfineyarnco.com. And she gave us a coupon code. NATR10 for 10% off your um your order. And when's that good until it's Oh, the that's end good of until the, month? the 27th of May. 27th? Okay. So get on that. Um she's got a really um fun colors coming out that she's been kind of like showing and stuff on her podcast and um and on her website. Yeah, and it was really cool. In one of their most recent episodes, um she had talked about like she got interviewed by a local yeah. news station um where they were interviewing a bunch of makers in the building that she lives in like yep. it's a craft not a crafty, but um, a maker building. Like there's, I a think it's like an art, 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 art artsy yeah. building. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But this and, is um, this is I love a single ply. I I knit one time. Um, this is 100 percent superwash merino. I did a hat and the cow. Hat. No, mm-hmm. I don't think I did the cow. I did a hat. No, it was a different single ply. No, but it was her lucky penny. Oh, I think yeah. it was, was called that lucky. single ply as well. I thought that was on her. I don't remember. Riotous side. But didn't you do for your mom? You did the no. barley and you did the cow, the barley cow and the barley hat for your mom with. Yeah, her. I don't think it was single ply though. No, it wasn't single ply. It was that like super high twisty yarn, which okay. was beautiful. No, I did a single ply. I made a sock head slouch with the Malabrigo. Malabrigo. Mm-hmm. Their single ply. Um, so those are our coupon codes, I believe. That's it. You- that now or later? Oh, let's show this. So, guys, this was this fun. was really cool. Um, usually, we would show this like during our um, owl like. post and stuff, but there is a coupon code for any of you, um, for anybody. Yeah, that it, she's. This is Laura from. Look, row one yarns. <gasps> we've never had. So row we've one never yarns. had row one yarns. And we've always been like eyeing it, you know, on like other people are showing on like their podcasts and um, all the fun little things that they can do with like minis. Now, I've never just recently, I think we both started using like minis to do different things, not like scrappy well, projects like we're starting like your yeah, shawl. I mean, I've done some for socks for, yeah. heel, you know, heels. I have no idea what's in this. I wonder if we should open it. Heels, we were, toes, and cuffs. Why, why do we do that? Heels, toes, and cuffs? Cuffs, toe, cuffs, heels, toes? Heels, toes, Oh, you mean cuff? like we do? Yeah, the order. Oh. Heels, toes, cuffs. Is it, That's normally like kind of how it goes instead of... We mean like what people say. Say. Hmm. That just tripped me up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to think on that for a moment. So this is the um, May Club. So if I'm pretty sure everybody's gotten their May by... I think it's May. Uh, yeah this is the current may kit so it just went out to subscribers um so hopefully you've all gotten it but this is i'm going to show it so this is by asylum fibers oh my goodness well i really want to use that i know so we were i know i know we don't know what i know i would like are we going to use it for a giveaway or are we going to keep it and use it but i really want to use i want to keep it so we're going to keep this one maybe we'll um maybe we'll get a subscription and um actually we probably will get a subscription who are we kidding and then we'll we'll do some giveaways and stuff um but anyway this is the asylum i mean yeah 
Asylum Fibers. It's usually all in sock weight yarn. I don't want to take all these out, but they're so stinking cute. They're all skeined up. I'm just going to try to hide your head. I wonder if this will focus any better. No? Probably not. Look at the... Look at the, like, neon colors yeah. in here. So, if you don't know about Row 1 yarns... Yes, please. Um, Tell so the folks. each of the kits come with 10, 10, 10... I'm opening 10 this. This is gonna be gram nice. minis. It's usually... There are 75 or... Um, 75, 25, or an 80, 20 merino nylon for sock knitters. Um, so, on the website for Row 1... There's a ongoing coupon code, HELLO20, which gives you 20% off your first month. So if it's something you'd like to try, definitely head over to Laura's website. And you um, get a little code. package of fun things and a little information about the yarn. Yeah, and some of the dyers that she's worked with before, um, which would have been really cool, told Toad Hollow, which um, they have a podcast that we yep. watch some, um, Lichen and Lace, and what's another one that I've heard of here? I know I recognize Toad Hollow. Oh, um, Spun Right Round. So it's a different dyer every month, I believe so. Yes. So, um, and really cool on the the information about the dyer, they have the colorway names and information about um, the dyer, which is, this is Stephanie. She's the dyer behind Asylum Fibers, the color maven. That's kind of a cute term. Yeah. Aw, I love so, this. So this is so cool. I don't know why we never jumped on this before. I know, but Laura, thank you so much for sending this over and reaching out to Did you tell them about us. the code? Yes, I did. Hello20. Okay. Um, it's an ongoing code on our site, and it's 20% off your first month. And there's a little stitch marker in here. So, yeah. I'm not so going to share all the secrets. Check out Row One Yarns. Yeah, so that was really that was really awesome. Yeah, that was fun. I know. I and feel then, like that's fun. The rest of the ad mini stuff, I guess, really quick so we could actually get some knitting talk in. Oh, yeah. We have got some knitting to talk yeah. about. 22 minutes in, eh? Is we have our make along, which is ending at the end of the month. We it's are. our spring cleaning. So um, keep sharing your pictures on Instagram. We love them. And I was going to say Facebook, but don't do that because we're not no, there. No, we're not there. So Instagram don't do it. and Ravelry. Right. Um, we will be starting our Let's Hear It for the Boys on june 1st so we'll yes. talk about that more in the next episode yes and that's then, it we did that last year it was really really fun yeah that's another three month long knit make along mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. that one's then, like more yeah we're very involved in like a lot of conversations and fun things are you saying we're not time. involved now no i think we are no we are it's just it's it's a different <laughs> sure <laughs> and then um last thing is we are going to do our um everybody's invited oh knit. yeah knit group thingamajigger i never i think i called it called i it. think i called it n-a-t-r crafty something well anyway what we're going to do is on the last sunday of the month which is the 30th we're going to have like an open knit group on zoom we yes. do have a limit of 100 people because that's what we paid for um so we're going to have a link below for signups um everybody's welcome it's going to start at 2 p.m eastern time and and between 4 and 5 Eastern time. Mm -hmm. um, so if you come for a half an hour, you know, awesome. And we're still not sure. We think we're going to do breakout rooms of 25 people in a row. Yeah, most likely. Um, and it's just a good way to meet other yeah. makers and, you know, build other mm -hmm. um, relationships, get to know some new people. So Absolutely. And then we'll like, time. we'll mingle on through and feel free to, you know, share your Instagrams with each other. And that's I think our, it'll be really fun. And that's the idea right now. Who knows? Depending how many people actually right. do if, sign up, right. it may just be one group. Right. So we'll... If we only have like 10 people sign up. We'll figure it out. That'll be nice. Probably the day of. Well, look, $20 off my next Uber Eats order. And I think that's all the ad mini stuff. So let's get into some knitting. Do you have any FOs? I have one. Okay. I have a hoe. I don't have an FO. Okay. Well... So you do your FO and then I'll do my hoe because that will lead me into not my okay. whip because I don't have a whip part. So <laughs> let me show you all the pattern. This was a um, impulse buy at uh, Knit New Haven. Oh man, I had you have one. a Ravelry app. No. How did you just get that up on your phone? Did you save a shortcut on your? I phone? saved a shortcut. On oh, my you're phone. a smarty pants, right? Please. Look at you. Yeah. This is the Lotus Flower Beanie. They were selling some kits um, in the store. It's by B. B knits handmade. 
Looks like it was published in February of 2021. Oh, so that's a fairly new pattern. Mm -hmm. There is, now this pattern has a lot of things, uh, a lot of different yarn weights that you can use, different um, sizes. It's a, it's a little bit pricey for a hat pattern, just sharing this with you all. It's $11 um, for this pattern. But it says, um, yeah, it's the Lotus Flower Beanie. So I, I'll show you what I did. I didn't, um, I didn't block this yet. It's not cute. Yeah, and the colors actually really remind, I think, remind me of a lotus flower. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Thanks. So um, I'm going to put a pom-pom okay. on this. And I am using... Oh, I just opened it and now you I did. close it again. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. I'm using this yarn. This is Sequoia uh, by Ba Yarns, B-A-A-H. We'll have this link below in our um, show notes as well. Artisanal, hand-dyed in America, exclusively spun for Ba, ba Yarns. That was a really pathetic attempt at trying to buy like a sheep. Can you all see that? We can. Thanks. And this is the color Black Pearl. And it is 100% superwash merino. Um, it's like that. Um, it's a single ply, like eight stitches per four inches. It's like oh. one of those super giant bulky yarns. bulky yarns. And then this one, I love this color. So this one is called... You have quite a bit of that color. I do. Over. So I'm going to do a second one. So this is called Pink Promise. Oh, that's a good name. Yeah. So we'll have this link below. I don't see a website or anything on here, but um, I'll have to figure out a way. Oh, there it is. Ba Yarns, B-A-A-H, yarn, yarn.com. So I did the Black Pearl. Obviously, you can see what I did where. Um, I'm going to hold it up close so that you can kind of see. It's like huge stitches there. I used a U.S. size 13, I believe, is what the pattern called for. It's like an 11 millimeter needle. Um, the My floats and everything look very terrible, but I will flash you my floats in just a moment. Um, so what I'm going to do, so we're going to, these are going to be um, Christmas gifts. I did the adult size. Um, it's only like one size and then you have a child size. I did the adult size. It's, it's very tight on my head. Um, I think this will be great for our nieces. nieces yeah. Um, they're both, they'll be five, six. No, they'll be six. Oh my God. Yes. Really? Yeah come Christmas time. Um, so I think I'm going to throw a fun pom-pom on this one. And then the second hat, I'm going to do the main color is going to be this. And then the um, the flowers are going to be the black. I'll be interested to see what it looks like Me once too. it's blocked. Because it may, I mean, it's super it washed, so it's definitely going to grow. So it might not. Oh, it not, smells amazing. You know, it may, you may get a lot more. Oh, it's so soft. Out of that once you block it. Yeah. So it may, I mean, you may find that it, I would almost say don't do a second one until you block that because you may find that this may be too big for the kids. Maybe. And then, I mean, you could always gift them, obviously, to anybody else. But Yeah. These are my... I mean, they're not technically... No, they are kind of floats. Yeah? Thanks. It's fun. You know what it reminds How me of? How fun are these colors together? Wait, you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember, like, as a kid, there was something that we could draw on or scratch yes, out that it was, was black? Yes. And it wasn't would... the Etch-A-Sketch. It no. was some magic... It was like actual paper or something or um, oh, like a no. postery type of thing where you, you, I feel like you etched it out or something and the color underneath was like a rainbow. Once you scraped kind of it thing? was rainbowy colors. Mm, it That's what it reminds me of. very familiar. Oh my gosh. Speaking of being kids, this, I remember, I saw this last night on Chevy Rell's um, stories and it was like a picture of a 1980s car lighter. It was like, do you remember these? And it was, it was. And it said something else about what kids did. And I was one of those stupid kids where I pushed it in. I still, I remember my brother and I were in my dad's car. My dad had, we were at my grandmother's house. So he had gone inside to do whatever. My brother and I were in the car. I pushed in the lighter. I took the lighter out. It was red Glowing hot, hot. And I just pressed my thumb right into it. What? Like an idiot. And just to see? 
Yes. And I remember I just had gray burn marks on my thumb for weeks on end. That's You're just... lucky that it was only weeks. <laughs> Jeez Louise, Kevin. That's why they don't have lighters and cars anymore. I know. This is living in our My Lila Styles bag. Who now has a website. She does not. She's not on Etsy yes. anymore. She um, just recently launched her own website. Congratulations. I'm ready. Look at the size of these friggin' things. So I'll tell you, actually, this is a, yeah, US 13 9 millimeter. On your chagu? My chagu? Oh, that's fun. That reminds me of something, too. Oh, my gosh. And I had to use a, um, a larger stitch marker. Like, I usually use the light bulb stitch markers just to, like, for, you know. Yeah, it does not fit. Nope. So I had to switch to the, to the giant hunkin' thing. That's one of the very first stitch markers I ever yeah. purchased, those big blue clippy ones. And I want to say... It was either from Joann's or it came with like needles that I bought. Hmm. But I love this. So I'm going to do the second one. I'm going to, I'm just going to do the second one, even okay. if it blocks out and it's not, um, and it's not a kid size anymore. Yeah. These would still be, make really cool gifts. Very nice. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So I have a hoe. My hoe is living in, um, my beard pearl bag. You did With my Where's Waldo Coca-Cola bear. And this I'm actually really in love with. Me too. I think you did a great job. These colors are fantastic. The colors are great. Let's grab one of these. Can you grab one behind you, please? One of the smaller ones? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So this is a sock. Are these the medium ones? Sure. Spanx. You're welcome. Um, so this is a sock that I cast on. I was working on it last time. I hadn't got quite to the heel. Um, and if you remember from the previous episode, I actually think it was even on the episode beforehand, possibly. I was struggling with your gauge, my gauge. Mm -hmm. So I've had settled. This is some yarn that I got from Lolo Did It. This is the Downton Abbey Club. And I don't know what the main yarn is called. Sorry. So this is the sock. Yay! So it's not blocked, but... I mean, you don't need to... Your foot will block it. Yeah, I still have to... Um, whatchamacallit? Wash it. Wash it and whatnot. So this is a kind of just... I guess it's kind of a take on the vanilla latte socks, possibly. I don't really remember those, but whatever. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> so I cast on 72 stitches. Because this will be on Ravelry on your projects page? No, maybe, probably not. <laughs> so I cast on 72 stitches. I use a German twisted cast on for my socks and typically for my hats now, unless it calls for something different. Mm -hmm. I did a two by two rib for 20 rows. Then I did 70 rows of a three by one rib all the way around. I did a heel flap and gusset. I follow, for me, I follow the heel flap pattern i use i go back and forth between two but i use the one from the coffee talk socks by yeah. tracy miller yeah then i did my foot which i think ended up being like five and a quarter or five and three quarter inches i don't know how many rows i'm gonna count it though okay and then my toe i use the a decrease and i use the one from wonderland socks by matt acres mm -hmm. that's just Two that I found that work really well for me. So I always pull up those patterns when I'm knitting vanilla socks and reference the heel and toe from each. Yeah. So this one, I decreased. I have 16 stitches on each of my needles. So a total of 32 left before I Kitchener. I just find that it fits my foot a little bit better. And I, can we talk about my um, heel flap and gusset? Because I don't have any, like, Holes. It's yeah, you did a good job. Really, really good. I'm super... Hold it up close. Let's see. Super impressed with it. I just think it came out really well. I think so, too. I love a heel flap. And Gus, I just like the way I love that the it look fits of it. my um, heel. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I love the way that it looks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm super pleased with, with these me socks. Me, too. I will say, though... Um, speaking of me having issues with gauge, I do find that this yarn, it is an 8515. 
It's a little plumper. I was just going to say it looks a little plumper. So I have a lot of extra room on the top of my foot with the the 72 stitches. Um, I I don't know. So I think... It only looks... I think I almost would have been better doing 64 stitches on 2.5 millimeters. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know if I said this before, but they were knit on 2.25, which is a US one. Oh. Uh, my Chaogu 32 inch cords with magic loop. No, no. Nine inch circular needles. No, I don't mess with those things anymore. I've tried them. My mom just bought a pair of nine inch circular needles. I don't have any reason to say nine inch circular needles today i have no socks on the needles you don't have any socks no, I don't. so yeah this was um it was great to actually knit a sock i love the ribbing on it yeah. it just gives you like having ribbing just makes it fit really really well totally so um i'll get the second one cast on i haven't started that yet but i'm so happy with the yarn like this blue mm-hmm. is so good and it's, it's great it really is good the, there's so much I would love a pair of socks in those tonalness in it um, and there's just like it's really funny on this one I just saw it there's like this little hint of red just this one little speck little of kiss. red where the dye breaks yeah really really pretty I think this well, is can actually... I have your leftovers if you're, when you're done um sure why well, are you gonna make shorties I might um, but yeah so that has been a fun little knit I forgot how much I enjoy knitting socks, and it's nice yeah. to just have something on the needles. Even with the three by one rib, it doesn't. Um, it's still mindless to me, at least. I find it being mindless. Like you only have to, you know, glance down every now and again, mm. and it's only for the until you get to your heel, you know, until you finish your heel, because then you're at, you know, a three by one on the top and stock net on the bottom. I just, I love vanilla. Like, knit, knit, knit socks. I do Maybe too. a fun little thing every once in a blue moon. Although, I have to say, like, my favorite, my best fitting socks are the Coffee Talk socks because of the patterning that's on there. Like, it fits my foot very, very well. But that's kind of because there's maybe, like, some ribbing. And that's, there is. I love, I love my Wonderland socks. Yeah. It's one of my favorite pair of socks. And, you know, it's definitely going to be the pattern. It's yeah. also going to be the yarn that you use is going to make a difference. Oh, agreed. Um, but that one I knit on sixty or two point five with sixty four stitches. Sixty four stitches. stitches. So I don't know why I try to go down the needle size. I'm going back to my other size. That's it. Decision's been made. Okay, good. All right. What's next? Whips. Whips. Whoops, whoops. How many do you have? I have two. As do I. Would you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? Um, it doesn't matter. I can go first. Sure. Okay. This is still still whipping along. This is my Honeycomb Shawl by uh, Stephen West. I've shown this pattern like a bazillion times. But, I should have um, brought up my protective eye gear. No, no. You'll be, you'll be good. I put a few rows on it. Nothing like... Major. Nothing major. No, I think you did. Well, I did That's quite a bit. So I'm trying to like stay in front of you. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. I was here. Um, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Yeah. Seven repeats. Um, it's getting it's getting nice and long. I think um, this is gonna be like the bias edge. I think, like what I would wear, kind of. Okay. Um. So, or maybe this is, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm using, um, the Halloween advent, uh, Hocus Pocus advent by Trilogy Yarns. And if you all want to see, I mentioned this before, but Chevis from, um, Chevy Rail stuff, she finished her V-back tee is what she knit. Um, and she used the advent. It's, great. it's beautiful. It came out so it's so good. beautiful. If you want to really see all the colors, um, cause this is kind of how they look without that, um, that main color. Yeah. Right. So super, super cool. Um, it's really neat to see, like, it's really neat to see all these, 
the different things that you can do with an advent that's not necessarily like a blanket or right most you know people you're looking for to, stuff yeah go to yeah. a blanket for an advent mm-hmm. so it's interesting to see other patterns used yeah you know what would be really cool for one too now that i'm thinking of it you know that um remember i made this infinity scarf that's on the bias mm. and my the one that i did is striped you could do yes. uh that i wonder where that pattern is i feel like i got that from knit new haven maybe i think it's a papered pattern so my goal for this i have now luckily i did so i'm gonna cheat a little bit because i i only have this much left over of the um the 100 gram skein that came along with this and this is what you see in between each um your honeycomb border. Yeah, my honeycomb border. So this is called Hocus Pocus. The I did get a second skein, so I'm likely going to have to tap into that second skein. But I could stop when I'm done with this, and it could be done. It just won't be as large. I kind of want it like I put I in this keep, much time. I'm just going to keep, keep going. going. Yeah. So um, I'm going to finish this, and I'll probably add on the second skein, you know, and just keep going. But for those of you who, if you want to just work with what you have um it's totally doable because it's all super wash so um good catch so it'll it's i mean it's it's good it's good now you know as a a smaller shawl and it's going to definitely stretch out when you pin it and stuff yeah so for those of you who just want to you know who don't have a second large skein or whatever it's okay to stop whenever you want steven's pat steven west patterns are pretty much like that well, um, what so, size needles is that knit on? This is on what the um, pattern calls for, which is a US 5 3.75 millimeter needle. Okay. Yeah. That's a really, I really do like fingering weight on like a five or six for shawls. It makes a really nice loose fabric. Yeah, it's very, it's very loose. Sometimes it gets a little bit too loose where I can't get into a, a good flow now that I have so many stitches. So I've got to like bunch things together yes, a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I but. see that. That's one of my whips. Okay, so since we're on shawls and Stephen West, I'll bring mine out. I did not make much progress on this. This is living in my chip basket. Oh, yeah, mine is living in my chip basket as well. Which we won from a Fiber Hustle bingo, bingo back in March, Yep, I think. So I am trying to knit on my modular um, inlay I love wrap. It. So I, again, am planning on doing the scrappy version, which is pictured here. I love it. So I have only did one additional section. Um, what I did, though, is I bought an extra needle and some needle stoppers. And I did start. Oh, my gosh. Um, it looks like a mess in there. This, it is a mess in there. I have, like, 5,000 yarns. Ends and yarns. All right. So... This is... I love it. What I have so far. Not much. No, but it's fun. All right. So this is Plymouth Yarns down here, my first color. Yep. That reminds me of Oreo ice cream cake. But it's got some blue in it. Yeah. That, remember, the frosting on ice cream cake typically is blue. Oh, from like Carvel. Right. They have the best ice cream cakes. Then this here is Barnyard Knits. Yep. I have this here, which is Lolo Did It. And then I have this here, which is To The Max. And I had picked up stitches along this edge to add in my next color. Uh-huh. I didn't have enough stitches, so I ripped it out. Oh, and right. I wasn't happy with my color choice because I would like to go with a light color. Uh-huh. So I'm actually going to throw in... I changed my mind and I'm adding in avocado toast next. Oh, that's going to be fun. Um, because it's lighter than this blue or this gray, white, this dirty water white whatever have to it is. see that knit up i'm not sure so i think i'm gonna do avocado toast below it because my next triangles i'm doing four green oh and this yeah. has green and brown in it that'll be cool so i'm gonna do a dark green and a light green uh-huh. on each end uh-huh and then above here i will do a light color okay oh and yeah you're gonna kind of alternate and then under my avocado toast i'm gonna do a darker color right that's the idea okay um, but yeah, I just, I just haven't worked on it much. I didn't, I really didn't knit last weekend at all. I didn't even knit yesterday. Um, I really focused on my socks yeah. and just, and just trying to get that There's done. I do find that, that I love being monogamous sometimes. 
um, and just working on one thing mm-hmm. and focusing and on the that progress. and getting and just getting something done. So I yeah. will. What size needles are these? Oh, a five. Five. So this is a five. I have. I just bought another um, five tips for chagus. I got an extra cord, and um, this yeah, this is good. Now, so what do you pick up? Like the slip stitches and stuff. So what you do? It, yeah, you pick I mean, up. Don't stitches. give too much away. You know? No, you just pick up stitches to create all the angles that you're going to be. That's knitting. me. Okay. Is that something um, you think I can do? I think anybody can do. Okay. It just. So like this may be my ne- like so this one, oh. I just don't know because this is one of my favorite colors that I've ever knit with. Um, this is barnyard knits. This is in my vertices. Yeah, I think this is the it one. It knits up so beautifully. Yeah, I have a section just by itself, and I'm what's the name of that one with it? Con- country cupboard. This or may something? be country cupboard because it was. It may be. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Actually, you know what? I think this is the one I added in and I took out. Who knows. But yeah. How fun though. And it's it's cool that you don't have a hundred percent of a plan. You're just gonna kinda like see what happens. It's cool, but it also um like not having a plan kind of bothers me because normally I do. Yeah. Uh, and you kind of have a vision of how you want something to turn out. Mm-hmm. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not really sure. So I'm afraid of putting in all the time and effort and not being happy with the outcome. But look what you did with Vertices Unite. I mean, you were like like how many times did you say, okay, I am think I'm going to go with this. And like, nope, I'm going to change this. Nope, I'm going to change I that. I took it out a bunch. Yeah. I took no, out right. section two, like three to four times before I settled on mm. the color. The rest, after that, the rest kind of flowed and right. fell into place. But that was the, that was that section that just gave me so much trouble. So I'm afraid to do that with this one. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see I it. think this one's going to be a little more long term because it is quite a big shawl. Sure. Um, so we'll see. Okay. All right. What's your next whip? My next whip is my sweater, my cardigan. This is for the Happy Mail, Ma- Happy Mail, Happy Knits, um, uh, Malalong, Cardalong, Cardal, Make Long, Make so Long. Sh- Happy Knits. I thought she doing- called it something different though, like something, something fun, which I'm, and creative, which I'm not. I think she said it was a Make Along. She did, but I thought she called it, I don't know, the Happy Mail. Um, Happy Mal. Happy Mal. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, H-A-P-P-E-E. H-A-P-P-E-E. So uh, the pattern that I decided to do is um, the Ranger. What? I was just thinking my pattern's from the same company. So we both just did Stephen West and we're both doing Brooklyn How Tweed. fun. Twinsies. <laughs> Such a... Oh, whatevs. Um, this is by Jared Flood, uh, Brooklyn Tweed Pattern. It's a really interesting um, cardigan. And you'll see it's like a textured um, cardigan. So it's knit all in one piece except for the sleeves are knit separately. Um, bottom up. And then you pick up the sleeves. You do your, your cowl. I guess they still call it a cowl even though it's not. Oh, yeah. I guess that would make sense. Okay. And then you do your collar, not cowl, yoke, yoke, yoke. Okay. Still, I guess it's still called a yoke. Okay, so I did. This is the left sleeve. How do you know it's the left one? Because I marked it. Oh, okay, smart. Yeah, see this little stitch marker here. Okay. Because when you bind it off, so that's that's the um, the stitch pattern, which is like slip stitches. It kind of looks like, you know, it's like ribbing almost. Um, that's the left sleeve. I did the right sleeve. Here. (laughs) And I cast on the body, did the ribbing, and started... Look um, at you. You did a lot. Yeah. And the yarn is Trilogy Yarns. It's a a one-of-a-kind... Um, that she did and she sent my way because she thought that, um, the colors would be good for me, which they are. So this is, I think it looks really cool, right? Mm -hmm. That's the bottom. These are the sleeves. I think the yarn is, um, variegated enough where 
I'm, I don't think I'm going to, and you guys are probably going to have a heart attack. Please don't have a heart attack. But I'm probably not going to alternate skeins. I don't think you have to with us. I don't think so either. And I really do like pooling and interesting right. transitions. I think it would be cool. The sleeves are both knit in a separate... In a single skein. Yeah. Different. Each You use a skein for each one. I use a skein for so. each one. And they're, you know, I think that they're similar enough. Um, yeah. Because there's so many different colors in here. So, yeah. So, I did the two sleeves. And I think I did a, a good... A good yeah. amount, a good chunk. Yeah, you you got a lot done on your yeah. sweater. Um, so this is a what weight sweater? This is a worsted weight sweater. This is knit um, in, like I said, Nancy's um, one of a kind. It's a one of a kind, but it's her 100% non-superwash worsted. Um, so she sent a few skeins of this. Some of it's already been skeined up, which is nice. Um, so I've been using that. So I still have this much left for the body. Now this is actually darker. Well, it seems darker than the, maybe not. No, yeah, see, I, they're so close. I, I think not, because there's such a very like. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. This seems lighter to me than this. Maybe, but it's not. It's in two different forms. Right. So I think that there's such enough variation. Yeah. That you'll be fine. I agree, and this is living in. My bearded pearl bag. Our, or our bearded pearl bag. I'm just, I just seem to be, I'm just using it today. You seem to yeah. claim the rights to that bag. Well, I seem to claim the rights to most bags because I am a huge bag user. And I am not. And you are, you like the I back use of the, the couch. I the back of the couch. A lot. Or my Roscog. Or your Roscog. Which your Roscog has a lot of interesting things. Let's not judge it. my Roscog. I'm not judging. Please. I'm just making a statement. That's all. So that's my sweater. That's the Ranger by Jared Flood. I'm very excited. It's my very it's my third sweater, first cardigan, first bottom up construction. A lot of firsts. So my last whip, right? Yeah. My last whip is also a sweater. Oh wow, you made a um, lot of progress. I showed the yarn for this last episode. This yarn I got from Knit Picks. It yep. is worsted weight. This is their Simply Wool Twist with the colors that are in it are um, Wordsworth and Wanda. It's 218 yards for 100 grams. It's 100% eco wool. Yep. So here is the skein. Yep. I love it. And this is what I've done so far for the body. It's good. It's so good. Oh this, my gosh. This is the back of the sweater. It is knit in pieces. Oh, this so feels a little dense. It is. Yeah, oh my God, this is, is going to be gorgeous, Kevin. I love the way that this has marled. Oh, I think too. it's going. I I just think it's going to be really, really, oh. really nice when it's done. It feels. You know what it is? It feels very luxurious. It's. You, I just like think this, when this is done. It's gonna. It's gonna feel so great. This is going to be a great neutral mm -hmm. sweater. Yeah. Um, which I didn't talk about the sweater. I'm doing Ivan by. Veronique Avery. Uh -huh. This is a really oversized cardigan. So here's, it's really interesting construction. Or um, so here's the cardigan. It's got. Um, let me show another view of it. Oh, she's cool. I want to be her friend. Right. So really, really nice. Um, I just think it's going to be a great piece to throw over totally. a long sleeve shirt. Uh-huh. Um yeah, I'm I super I'm just super excited for it. I am too. So this is I'm using um Chow Goose. I went down a needle size from what the pattern I did my two swatches. Here they were. Yeah. This was on oh, a US so good. seven. And I really like the fabric. It's very, very loose. This fabric is on a US six, much denser, mm -hmm. but I hit gauge with it. Um so that you can just kind of see there's not as much give going this way. But I'm I'm good with it. And I also changed my needle size for my cast on. This is a tubular cast on. I use the video from Andrea Mowry. It just makes a lot of sense to me. When I cast on, I used some double pointed needles. I have six inch Tips. Caspian wood right. 
from nitpicks downstairs and I put a needle stopper at one end and then just cast on because it's not something, at least for me, where you can just like stop mid cast on and go because it's a very loose cast on the way that you twist it. And I have waist yarn, which I'm not sure why it's yeah, still here. I don't I, know either. It hasn't told me to cut it out yet, so I don't know if I have to wait until later on in the pattern. Okay. But I'm enjoying it. It's in, you know, it's it's stocking it. So it's super easy right now. It's been a very long time since I've purled this much. That many stitches in a row? Probably, well, since Slip Stravaganza. Oh, yeah. Because that was a lot of purling. It was. Yeah. And I am, so I'm using US 6, which is three, four millimeter, four millimeter US 6 needles for right this. On. Um, I'm just, I think I'm a couple inches away from doing my decreases for the shaping of the back. So you do some decreases, then some increases, and then oh. more decreases for your shoulders. And once I'm done with this, I think the rest of it's just going to knit up so quickly because it's just the two panels side panels and because it's not a full sleeve right it's just going right it's going to hit now you're not going to make any modifications or anything no i'm going to knit this two pattern i'm Mm -hmm. going to let it get to my it's just about the elbow or right past the elbow yeah so uh, so i think right past would be cool i love the way it looks the way that it's knit so i'm going to follow the pattern and yeah oh i think this is it hold on I think my Lolo did it, guys. This um, hold my hand it was Aww. the main colorway, and that's uh, that was not available because it's a club. But yeah, so that is my sweater. Cool. And that's all that I've knit on. Lovely. Oh, my sweater. I'm making the third size. Oh, I'm making the third size as well. So I went. The third size for mine is a 38 to 42 inch chest, and because it looks like it has a lot of positive ease, I have about a 42 inch chest. The last time I measured. Yeah. So I think that's fine. I didn't want to go 42 to 48. I thought that right. would be too big. So, um, yeah, I, I think this will be good. Totally. Cool. So that is it on... I think that's it for the knitting. For the knitting. We... And crafted. We can get into... Do we have... I don't think we have... Do we have owl post? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't have the any... row one yarns. Oh, wait, before we get into that, let's oh, I talk do about... have one too. Wait, we have some dyeing. I know. So um, I, I have been dyeing hours. more. Like I said, I'm going to shoot to do a shop update the last Sunday of the month. So that's the 30th. 31st. 31st. All right. So I've been trying to replicate some of the colors that were in the last update. So I've done some more dirty ballerina. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do, I love that color. So I really do. I have a lot of fun dyeing it. I just love seeing it kind of come together. Right. And it was really popular. So I'm going to do more of that than I had in the previous. um, Watch nobody get it. now. I know nobody's going to want it. That's okay. I'd be like, ah, we're so over dirty. So over dirty ballerina. So, and just some other ones. There's, it was funny because we've, tried to name them as we went and there was this green one and i didn't know what to call it and we called it fraser fur because it reminds us of our christmas tree and a fraser fur is when you looking at it the top of the needles are green but the bottom have this silvery Silver, tone yeah. to it it's cool so the the yarn kind of reminded me of a combo of those if you were to mix those two colors together um so i did that so i've been trying to duplicate some of those but i've done two new colors one of them I think is going to be a one of a kind. The other one I can repeat. Um, so this one I might be able to repeat, but I think it's going to be. I one love of a this kind. one. This one I'm calling. I think I'm going to call snow cone. Yeah. Um, because there's still some white space in it, but it has like it reminds me of a snow cone when you, they poured over the flavoring. So it has some blue, pinks, um, like purples. I think there's some green and yellow in here. I just used a bunch of different colors and just kind of applied it however I wanted. And it makes it's you really want a f- snow cone real bad. <laughs> I love her. I love that. Like that, that's probably one of the <laughs> only reasons I like watching the second. Yeah, the second one was nothing really to write home about. It wasn't as nowhere near as good no. as the first one. But she but was. She was. That funny. scene is one of my favorite scenes of the totally. second one. Okay, so yeah, so this is snow cone. 
So I'm going to have four skeins of this, and it's going to be on 70. No. I think it's on 80 20. 80 20. The next one I absolutely love. So it's on two different bases, and it's tied up a, differently on both. Oh. Oh, yeah. And it could just be the. Yeah, it just took differently. So this I'm calling. Um, Fire pit. Mm -hmm. So this is it on a hundred percent superwash, which I think it's so fun. So like the colors are, are cool. Like I just want to sit outside with our my I cardigan did, and some shorts and sit by the fire. So I did some speckles on it. I have to clean it up, like cut off some of the ties. But there's orange, brown, and gray. Orange, brown, and gray speckles. It's just so. I think it's fun. fun. Yeah, it's really really fun. I yeah, I really I enjoyed this one. So that was my first attempt at it. My second attempt I did on eighty twenty, and so it's just a little bit lighter. Yeah, the, but the same the colors are, are dying down to the end of the night. No, it's really interesting how the base takes the dye differently. Yeah, because uh, I was just dyeing some dirty dirty ballerina today. And I found that it took up the pink really quickly in there. But yeah, so I I really this has much more brown in it. I like, I the, like. and I like the I like this one. I like this one. I re, I, I mean like I like them both for too. sure. This one's a lot warmer. This one's just on fire. This one, I, yeah. So I do like it. I'll definitely replicate it some more, and I'll probably play, play with around. It some these more will be like see. the one of a kinds, though, right? We'll put them as like a no. These are going to be. We'll call them fire pit. Okay. It may change. First draft, right? First draft. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, those were fun. Fun. So now let's get cool. to Owl Post. Okay. So if you are new, Owl Post is a Harry Potter reference. This segment section is um, stuff that we receive from viewers in the mail. Yeah, amazing individual people. So, um, if you're not interested in that, um, see ya. Love you. Bye. If you'd like to stay, welcome. Pull up a chair. Welcome to Use the, the potty. Rest. Grab a drink. And let's begin. So, didn't that, it sound like we're ready to like calm. meditate? Right? Like, yeah. Yeah, it was like, okay. Deep breath. Let Center. It out, and let's begin. Clear your chakras. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, maybe we'll add that section to our podcast. We are not. So this is um, not necessarily Owl Post, but it is a prize. Um, during our the last bingo with our Fiber Hustle fellow friends, we did uh, on Mother's Day. No. 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 He's... no. We did spring, some springtime thing. What happened in spring? My mom made those hats for us. Remember we talked about it? Right. The straw hats and flowers and stuff in it. What, was there a holiday? Or just was like a spring one? Maybe it was just spring. All right, let's spring into spring with Fiber Hustle. Bingo. Bingo. And um, I won. And I got my prize. Oh, yeah. This was between you and Gary. You both like yes. spun. Maybe you me and Gary won. can. Maybe me and Gary will split this. And I'll get one and he'll get one. And then we can be twinsies. <laughs> what are you going to wear in the... No, that's Maybe nothing. Mean. Maybe I wear nothing. So these are um, <laughs> Stephen B. Zebra socks. They have the Stephen B.'s uh, logo there. Oh and my gosh. I didn't notice that was a face until just now. Yeah. So here's his little hair and his sunglasses and the schnoz. See the schnoz? I do. Okay. Um, and these are fun. So Gary, if you want one of these socks... <laughs> You can wear one. I'll wear one. We'll coordinate our days together. Um, and they also sent a fun little Fiber Hustle sticker. Very nice. Very nice. If you all don't watch Fiber Hustle, at Fiber Hustle, you, you need totally to should. get in gear and give them a try. They are hilarious and they are amazing individual people. They are. You may continue. I don't Thanks, because have... I have one more owl post. Yeah, this I don't is from have any a owl viewer. Post. This is from Helen. And I don't think we talked about the backstory of this, but because I've been knitting, you know, a lot of socks and talking about like finding uh, lengths and, you know, sizes and stuff, she wanted to send this along. So to help me with my sock knitting. Uh, 
What? So she sent me the sock ruler. How fun is this? So it has like all the information. I haven't opened it yet, but I cannot wait to get started using this with my next sock just to help me. So funny story. I was going to say there's a little more to this story. There though. Is. You have to share this. So I bought um, a wooden sock ruler from Nitpicks. Boy, I feel like ages ago. And I can't find it anywhere. And I'm usually very organized. Like I keep... Yeah. Like, all my things on my RazCog. I mean, if you guys haven't watched our live, I think we did a live with, like, showing our... Probably back in, like, March. Yeah. Showing our... No. Really? Okay. February, maybe. Maybe. Maybe February. Showing, like, our storage for our projects and, like, what we do and, and whatever. So I usually keep it all... Actually, maybe I should look back at that because I feel like I showed it. You did. In the video. Absolutely. And that's the last time I've seen it. Maybe if I watch it back, I'll find out where I put it. Maybe I put it in a bag or something. I honestly think it's in a bag somewhere. It probably is. So anyway, I've been without a sock ruler, and I've been saying to Kevin, like, I'm going to have to get another sock ruler because I can't find my sock ruler. And, like, I, was, I kept getting tired of pulling out the tape measure or counting my – now I can count my, some of my rows. But anyway, Helen, long story short, you're a mind reader, and thank you so much. I will be using this quite often. Mm. There it Excuse is. me. You know what? You didn't sneeze in this one, did you? You just jinxed – I haven't. I don't think – but you certainly yawn. I probably will. So she sent a beautiful card along with it, which That's I cute. love. Isn't it cute? Mm-hmm. And a nice little message inside. So, Helen, thank you so much. Hopefully thank you, Helen. it's okay to mention your name. but it. I mean, you didn't give out a last name. I didn't. Or a social. But or I anything. sure can. No. Call me. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Do you hear my stomach growling? Oh, my, I just heard your stomach growl. My yeah. stomach you know I- why? Because I started thinking about snow cones, and then it made me... Th- and then the campfire, or the... Fire pit? Um, fire pit and then it I made me think part. of like um grilled delicious food and like hot dogs and hamburgers which we're gonna have, which we're gonna have today and then now my body's like i'm ready feed me so <laughs> do you know i almost watched that the other day little shop of horrors the me i was just thinking of that the it's other day on, that's so um, funny it's on hbo max is I, it really I, yeah feed right. me see more so i how much do you have that you've purchased because i have a crap ton of i have a lot i just didn't put it on the table all right, I'm gonna start. Oh wait, no, uh, no, I no, I purchased this. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I told you there's gonna be some. All right, so one of mine's a club. Um, I love savvy skeins. Oh no. That's okay. So I have joined. She has a club where the colorway is based on a bird every month. So this is my third month. This is on the Sensible Sock, which is an 80, 20, 420 yards for 100 grams. I really am going to try to just crinkle it down here and hope. I forgot that I didn't open it. I think I'm going to take a picture of this. This is, this is really embarrassing. No, don't do that. That's proof. That's evidence. I look, I have to okay. hold my camera up so high to get... So yes, um, my prior months I had, there was like a barn owl, I believe. That's gorgeous. And then last month was a cardinal. So this is like a little hummingbird or something. What it is. Oh, it's on here. Duh. Is it? This is the very throated, fiery, fiery throated hummingbird. Oh, oh guys! Oh my God, it's gorgeous. The bird, gorgeous. And if I'm not mistaken, I think her daughter does these pictures, does the painting. Speaking of her daughter, she's getting married. If she hasn't already gotten married, Allie's daughter. Allie's taking the month off. So she's taking the month off. We have her shop linked below, um, but it doesn't really take you. It takes her to her page with a cute picture of um, her daughter and fiance. But but she does. Um, She's still working on her clubs that she does, but Correct. she's not Nothing updating, new right doing now. shop updates. Yeah. So yeah, so this was my first um, purchase. Should we alternate? Yes. Do you want to do the stuff we got from Knit New Haven next? Sure. In like a little Knit New Haven segment? Okay, because then I have... Yes, okay. Because then I... Or do you want me to do a club? Because I have my club. Go ahead, do a club. Okay. This is part of my happy hour club at Trilogy Yarn. And this is this month's what? Did I show my 
I did. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Thank you. This is the Cool Blue Hawaiian, which I love. Like a summertime. See? Now mm. I'm getting really hungry. We'll eat soon. All right. Well, no, because then we have to drool. Anyway, it's fine. So I I switched my base on my when I re-upped for my oh, club. Oh, I forgot you did yeah, that. Yeah, so this is uh, on the worsted. Superwash Merino. It's 216, 218 yards per 100 grams. It is so soft. Um, I think the the worsted ones are going to either be... Um, or I might do like a worsted weight shawl with the three skeins in it. Like I'm, a three skein I'm shawl. kind of living for a worsted weight shawl. Yeah. I'll talk about that in a second. I have an idea. But okay. to do one, I'm thinking about doing one. I just need more yarn for it. So I'm, I'm, I'll am have three skeins of it because um, I think I have one more month left mm. of the worsted. But it comes with the drink recipe for Cool Blue Hawaiian. I have yet to try the drinks, but it's nice to have uh, recipes in your um, I forgot what yarn collection. Was. So yeah, how fun. Love it. Yeah, that's a good colorway. Love it. All right, so let's do our Knit New Haven haul. Okay. Okay. So we went to Knit New Haven and we kind of just picked out a bit. Mm -hmm. So first, let's do two non, um, non yarn yarns? items. Okay. So f I'm actually really bummed, y'all. They were having a sale too. I, I don't need needles. I just, I don't. Says no knitter ever. But they have the Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection. And I wanted to try it because the cords are supposed to be similar to Chavos. the Chago cords. It also comes with a lot of stuff. Yes. If you go to Jimmy Bean Wool, Jimmy Bean Wool, there's a bunch of different versions of it that include more items. So the price point can go up to up to about 200 US dollars for like the full on set which is what they had there, I believe. But it goes up to like US 17 needles, which mm -hmm. I would never use. Like wouldn't, so it just kind of didn't make sense. Um, although on a recent episode of Smells Like Yarn, Ross Schreiderman had a really good idea of just getting the tips and the cords that you most commonly and like use and build your own. Your own. So whatever, I may, don't know, probably not pasta doble. Well, your birthday is coming up, so maybe My you should just- hold up for a minute so what i was but they had like 10 or 10 percent off their interchangeable needles mm -hmm. so i was like oh crap i missed out but what i did get was some of the mindful knit blockers knitting blockers because we don't have these we just use t -pins. no we just use the t-pins so most people know what these are except They're, this person oh so it comes like this with a bunch of pins and you have so you put them in like your shawl just as uh -huh. you go. So it's and like easier to create line. a straight line. Yeah. So it comes with 12 of the larger ones. Large ones. So 12 of these. Each of these have eight pins in it. Then it comes with eight. Oh, I see. Of these, which have four pins in it. Um, so, yeah, I wanted a set. For a really long time, I've just never made the jump to buy one. So we were there. I saw them. I grabbed them, and now, now you're the them. proud owners of some mindful knit blockers. You know what's um, very cool about their mindful collection too? On the needles, the needles have like little, like inspirational, inspirational words like yeah. breathe or yeah. oh, you know what? I'm gonna go on a quick tangent because inspirational. In one of our comments, somebody asked us to talk about our bracelets that we both wear. Oh, yeah. So these are from, I want to say it's Loki. It's L-O-K-A-I. L-O-K-A-I is the company. Yeah. So the bracelets, mine has the Gemini symbols on it going around. And then they typically have a white bead and a, um, a black bead. Mm -hmm. One has the water in it from Mount Everest. The other has sand in it, or dirt, sand, I guess, dirt, from the Dead Sea. Dead Sea. So the idea behind this is that it's all about balance. And when you're at your high, to be humble. And when you're at your lowest point, to have hope. Um, so just a good little, like, mental yeah. reminder. And I tend to like wearing things that um, are thoughtful mm -hmm. or that make me thoughtful. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I do want to get more. They have some Star Wars they ones. Do. They have Marvel. They have a whole bunch of different um, yeah. types. They even have some that aren't this plastic. Right, this is like material. rubber. Or, yeah, rubber, plastic mm-hmm. type of thing. They do have some... Um, so mine is... You're probably not going to be able to see, but mine is the Avengers. <laughs> so... I just I love the how it looks. Yeah, I wear I wear mine every day. Yeah. Um. So that was so that's that. So let's get back on track with Knit New Haven. Okay. And then this. Yep. And then we bought this. Yep. Um. For, the the sorry the blockers, the mindful blockers, I linked, um, one of the shops that had like a a really good price. They only had a few left though. But if you that's in our show notes below, but if you just like Google it, you'll be able to find some other um, other places. Just wanted to throw it out there in case people were. And then this is the, I think everybody says it different. I'm going to go with Lane, 52 Weeks of Shawls. Yes. So they had both the 52 Weeks of Socks and the 52 Weeks of Shawls. And we were hemming and hawing right. which ones to do. We At almost one got point both. I said, get both. And I said, no. I think we're both more likely to knit a shawl. And yeah. there's, I mean, the shawls in here are beautiful. We looked at a bunch of them. Um, and what, why we lean this way too is Knit New Haven is having a knit along or a shawl. They are. And starting, I think, soonish. But the other thing that kind of sold us on this, and I forget what it's two patterns one. they are. I know, they're so pretty. It's just a good book to have yeah. on the one. But two of the shawls in here oh, pretty one are written by designers in Connecticut. So I thought that was fun. Oh my um, gosh, she's beautiful. I know. I really want to knit this one. Holy cow! Like this is. I think this is one of them. Is it? Yeah. I'm just gonna show the picture of the shawl because the shawl's. Oh, like, it's gorgeous. What? Oh my god! Like this is definitely one of the ones that I saw. And I, was I like, love those oh, colors. I'm gonna knit that. So um. So yeah, it is. We can spend a, hours going. I know through it's this a beautiful thing. book. Very well done. Tons of great freaking shawl patterns. Um, this was another one that we saw. Yeah. So, yeah, if you are a shawl knitter and you have a little extra cash. Because <laughs> it's, I mean, books aren't, no matter what type of book you get, books are not right. cheap. Unless, but they're nice to have. It's yes. nice to, like, physically hold something. And you know what, too? Sometimes they're just nice as a reference. Mm-hmm. Even that's why it's nice to buy patterns. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, for my socks, I use two different patterns to complete my vanilla sock. Yeah. So, yeah, beautiful book. Gorgeous. Really happy that we purchased it. Oh, that's kind of like more scarf-like. I wish I remembered the name of the two shawls. This is a wrap. That looks fun. It does. So, yeah, so that was our other, like, non-yarn purchase from the New Haven. Right. All right, so why don't you you go up, go next with all your yarny goodness. Okay, so from Knit New Haven, I did show already the yarn um, that I knit the the hat with, right? The lotus flower hat. Yes. That yarn was purchased at Knit New Haven. I got these three together for a pattern specifically because I'm going to try to start doing these things. Where I'm like buying with intention. Good for you. Is that the right word? Buying with intention? Yes. Okay. With the pattern in mind. Right. Which most of the time I do the same thing, but then I forget by the time I get home what mm-hmm. pattern it was for. And now it just sits in the stash. So this, I, I just, I've always loved this. And I think it's like so cute. And so I'm going to do it. So I, um, I bought the pattern and I bought some yarn for the unbearable hat by Maxim Sear. I got um, Brooklyn Tweed Arbor. It's a DK weight pattern, right? In Kettle. Ooh, look how dark that is showing up. It, well, yeah. It is dark. It's black. Kettle. Um, Thaw, which is a little bit... Oh, there you go. It's not as, like... It's not as white. white. It's not a crisp white. Yeah. It's uh As it looks. And then I got Crumb. So I'll be knitting the hat with those. Isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure when I'm going to um, knit it up. He's also not sure that he has enough yarn because oh, he yeah, did I not check the pattern to see how much yarn he needed. 
So I, don't, we, I think I'll have enough. Look at like the color. They're almost like blocks of color. We actually plan on going back to Knit New Haven on June 12th for we National oh, yeah. Knit in Public Day. Yeah, anybody want to join us? Well, we have a podcast that day too, so we have to figure that out. It's All right, a podcast so day look, and National Knit in Public Day. So main skein, I need, depending on the size, the highest I would need is... 110 50, grams. Or no, 52 yard. grams. Oh, you should be good. Uh, No, you won't be good. Why? This is fifty grams, right? Right. If you need, 50. that's the like the largest size. I I don't think I'm gonna make it for myself. Okay. You said you. Were, I thought you were. You said you I were know, make but it then I kind of changed my mind. Oh my god! You hear my stomach? I do I'm hear so your hungry. Stomach. Okay. It sounds let's like, move on. Um, anyway, that's the unbearable hat. Okay. Love it. Is that all you bought from Knit New Haven? Yes. Yes. And no. See, this. Oh yeah. One of the ladies there, um, she started dyeing some yarn. She it's locally so it's locally dar- dyed um, in Connecticut, and she had a basket of like fun things and I love the base. It's a four ply DK, um, fifty five percent superwash BFL and forty five percent silk. Hey books. This is the color is I'm probably gonna say this completely wrong. Ba Sing Si. This is the color, and this is by um, the. Knit in Word. I think she's a, like a librarian as well, or she likes. Did you have this conversation? Are you? Are you no, I think I'm making it up. But I found her. I followed her on Instagram because she doesn't have a shop yet. Super Fine Yarn Co. is a librarian. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I have because she doesn't have a shop. Um, I did link her Instagram below. You I can think find she's her an astrophysicist. Knit. In, wow. Can you imagine? Astrophysicist by night, yarn dyer by day. Oh my gosh, you love making stuff up. No, but I might. I don't think I'm making things up. But you don't know. I so mean, by, I, nobody knows. So, <laughs> I'll find out. Hold, please. Anyway, I love the yarn. Can I just talk about the yarn? It's please. so soft and like shiny with the silk. No, but uh, my point is that she doesn't have her shop up yet. She's going to. So follow her on Instagram, Knit and Word. You may continue. Do you have anything else from Knit New Haven? No, no, that's all. She's a knitter and fiber enthusiast based in Connecticut. All right, I'm not quite sure why she's called Knit and Word. She doesn't have many um, revealing posts can't all right so anyway check her out this is the she the may or may not be a librarian she may or she probably is not i'm probably just i'm completely i'm completely gone off the deep end <laughs> oh wait no <laughs> all right carry on it's beautiful yarn oh i also got this too which was i thought was fitting because you had gotten vaccinated that day. I did. Yeah. All right. So I purchased four skeins. Three to go together. The fourth one was to be by itself. The three that go together need a fourth one, though. So I will buy a fourth one next time we go there. So this is all Madeline Tosh. Um, which I've never tried Madeline Tosh. No, me neither. But it looks luxurious. This is... Um, <laughs> what? Um, so this is Madeline Tosh Farm Twist. It is worsted weight. Although it says light. What? It's 225 yards for 100 grams. So yeah, it's worsted weight. This one is colorway is du- Dubrovic. Du- Dubra. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dubrovic. Dubrovnik. I'm going to say that the end Dubrov- is silent. Yeah, Dubrovnik. So this is a really pretty Dubrovnik? gray, like gray blue. And my intention for this is to do Jason's cashmere hat, which Kevin, is a cabled have a, is, hat. We have a lot. We have, it's an hour and a half right now. <laughs> we still have a lot to show. No, we're almost done. Mm. And then the next three just go incredibly well together. They do. I think all four of them can. They all four do, but this yeah. is a hat. This okay. this was picked up first. This is a hat. For a hat. These three are 
Same base. So I have Modern Fair Isle. Ooh. I have Red Fox, yep. which I love a Red so Fox good. and I still have not received a Red Fox bag. I just haven't found one yet. And then this one is Life on Mars. So I feel like there needs to be a fourth color maybe between these two to do a shawl. A big well, isn't there shawl. a three color cashmere shawl or something like that by somebody? Not, I know it's not cashmere. But, but it's not worsted. That's not is that worsted? This is worsted, yeah. Oh, maybe I should start so, tuning into the podcast. I know. Go ahead, watch. I'll I'll tag you in it at Please an tag hour me in twenty five minutes. No, it's a number three weight. But it's, it's DK. It, it was in their worsted stash. Well I mean So if it's not, but it's DK, I could do something else. I may need a force. Like no, it has two hundred and twenty five yards. That's oh, that's worsted. worsted. So I feel like there needs to be a color in between these two. Something yeah, like right there. One. I, I think that's too... No. No, I think it needs something here, possibly. No. Why? But yeah, I love these um, together. I think I actually think it needs more of a... Light, or maybe even something between these, like a light gray. Okay. How about so you I all... Su- look, can you all suggest something? I will look... Um, cool. Next time we're there. I was looking at some... Oh, this says DK weight, actually. I thought it was worse. Fit. So that changes what i was going to knit i'll have to find something to knit with this now a DK i think it's shawl. just like lightly it's just plump but it's beautiful yarn i can't wait to work with it so that was all my purchases there and then this wonderful is from, this is my last batch here okay i have two more things okay so go ahead and this goes hand in hand with what you're gonna show do you have oh so all right we can both go so we made I'm so happy that I got this one. I forgot what I what I ordered. So I we made a purchase from To the Max Yarn Co. Yeah. forever ago. We got a set of minis. Oh. And you could just see the progression of their dyeing style. Oh, it's so good. Change from yeah. and I would say what, maybe dying for a year or maybe a little bit more. So I saw one color that made me immediately go to the shop because I think it's really first the colors called call me by your name. I love the movie call me by your name, but this color here, the mini is called peach Ugh. and the peach scene is so uncomfortable to watch. So it's so, Oh fun. my God, that's the movie. Yes. Yes. Yes, so it's so uncomfortable. It's so to watch. uncomfortable. So to <gasps> have it in here, I bet that's not what the intention was. <laughs> I don't know, but you if don't that's think? if that's what the intention was to like reference that one scene, it's amazing. And it, made I know me, it's so perfect. It You're made right. me chuckle. I was like, okay, I totally have to get that. But beyond that, I love the green tones in here. Um, you have some yellow down here, some blue, and it takes place in Italy. Um, oh my they drink- god, I didn't even think of that. So I thought that was very, yeah, very but it's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So then I've been dying to knit some DK weight socks. So I got a DK weight sock set. It comes I with love two this. Look at these colors. This one is called Meddling Kids. So you said that as a Scooby Doo reference, right? Meddling Those kids. meddling kids when they're like unveiling the ghost or whatever, right? Isn't that what yeah, they so say? Th- you meddling. And these are both on eighty twenty. Um, this is three sixty five meters 400 yards mm-hmm. and then a 80 yard um 73 meters 80 yards for the mini so 100 grams 20 grams this comes with two minis both are 20 grams yeah i'll, I'll knit with those um 55 yards and then 274 yards for the dk main skein this i this is called care bears is this not? I mean, this. I feel like this is Saturday morning. Was Care Bears on Saturday morning cartoons? I don't. Mm. Do you remember the movie? Well, one yeah, of the with movies? the with guy Dark with the Heart. Red, yeah, Dark Heart. Oh my god! And his voice was like weird. They were at camp. They were at camp, and then he's <gasps> he like talked all weird. I would watch that right now. Totally. I would literally. I would go totally. Turn it on. And then I would start my socks. These are absolutely going to be socks, and I think I'm going to make these like super long, like giant, obnoxious socks. Are you? Yeah, how fun. I think these are going to be great socks. So this is Care Bears. Care Bear Stare. I love and the Care Bear Stare. me too. And this I'm going to Care Cousins. 
Yeah, but I wasn't really a huge fan of the Care Cousins. I had a care, I had a stuffed Care Cousin. Just like with um, Thundercats, I wasn't a huge fan of like the, the you know, Thunder Cousins. Thunder. I don't think they were called Thunder Cousins. <laughs> that sounds like a movie that's not safe for for children. Speaking of Saturday morning cartoons, guys, if you were an '80s kid and you were a fan of He Man, <gasps> yeah, but is this true though? Yes, because you know how they no, have rumors. I didn't look month. it up to verify. It's super. I didn't true. do a fact check. I'm a He Man fan. I love He Man. Love Shira. Me too. Both of those great cartoons for Saturday. Remember Morning's the movie where up? they introduced Shira and was like the crossover? Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Um, Shira, Shira. Remember? Mm-hmm. Aw. Um, Kevin Smith, who is well known. Like, he's a director, actor. He has done a CGI update on He-Man. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it takes place after the original 80s cartoon. So it's made more for adults and not more for kids. And I'm so excited for it. It comes out in July on Netflix. Do he, do he man don't do that because there's there's also a new animated he man coming out for kids and then there's also a live action he man that they're working on. This is from two days ago. Oh, he looks he looks like just an updated version. Right, it's all CGI, from what I picked up. But okay, no, it lo- it looks like it's going. To it be looks good. all right. Like it 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 kind of it does have the classic vibe to it. Yes. I'm so um, excited for that. It's going to be in two parts. The sword looks similar. Ooh. Right? Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty updated. So Mark Hamill's going to be Skeletor. Did you say that already? Oh, well, yeah. Mark Hamill, He's Skeletor. The voicing, like, um, Alicia Silverstone's going to be voicing. Sarah Michelle Gellar's voicing. Yeah. Um, who is? Chris Wood is voicing um, Adam He-Man. Sarah Michelle Gellar's going to be Tila. Yeah. I think it's just I'm so excited. All right, all right. So go on. Let's get now that we have um, no, but done I want to watch this now. Let's do your look at Orko. I know I can't. Oh, wait he looks evil though. I'm not a fan of Orko looking evil. Look at his. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Orko uh, looks a little too evil to me. Can't wait for that. I have a really cool crocheted Orko pattern. <gasps> Maybe I'll do it soon. Um. Okay. Right, what else did you buy? Uh, this is my last purchase. I got the um, Pride. Um, I got the Ready for Pride kit. <laughs> like so confused. There's so much happening right now. Ready for Pride kit was a collaboration between um, Naughty Knitting Sacks and Trilogy Yarns, and I could not be happier. It comes with a beautiful pattern. This is the super simple slip stitch Betty. Is that your mom, Betty? Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Um, super simple slip stitch cowl. Um, and it is a bunch of minis, rainbow minis from Trilogy Yarns. They're 20 gram minis. Very nice. Very nice. Plus. Uh, gray. Oh, yeah. I forgot yep. about that. Yep. 80% superwash. Um, stormy weather. So she, um, Nancy wanted to have, like, a little bit of gray in here. Need a little bit more yardage. So she, um, she used her stormy weather, um, to kind of put in here. I'm not quite sure where it goes. I don't know if it goes in between I think each it's color. The, it's, oh, no, it's the it's top, top and the bottom. bottom. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And this is a bag by Naughty Knitting Sacks. It's a little rainbow sack. I love the outside of that. For those of you who may be offended by rainbow colored peepees, please look away. Otherwise, look at the inside of this bag. I'm gonna turn it inside out. (laughs) This channel is not made for children. God. Okay, put it away. Put it away. Kevin might be offended by rainbow color no. peepees. No, you never know. So, no, you're right. For those of you who don't know, YouTube totally scans your videos when they upload to see if there's inappropriate content. And I don't know how they determine what's inappropriate. But we're not made for kids and everything like that. So, it shouldn't be. It should be fine. So, that- anyway, that's 
I love it. This is going to be a June cast on. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, for Pride. I feel like I'm casting on a lot next month. Same. I have so many things. So I but need somebody this to I me. definitely want to cast on um, in June. All right. That is all the knitting, all the fiber that we've purchased and wow. stuff like that. Are you like all still that. even here? So we're going to wrap things up with what we've been reading and watching. All right. What have we been watching? We've watched, we finished Shadow and Bone, which is a Netflix series based on the Shadow and Bone books by Lee Bertigo. Mm-hmm. I, so the series is based on Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. It's a combo of those two books. Mm-hmm. Um, w- when reading the books, those two things happen at completely separate times. I thought they did a really good job of adding the characters in and using the same um, plot from the book to to get the the story across and kind of combine the two worlds. So I thought I thought they did an amazing job with the show. It hit on all the points that they needed to hit on, and I think it portrayed all the characters really really well. So I did not read the books, um, so uh, but I thought the series was absolutely incredible. I loved it. Um, I thought they did a really good job with the storytelling. Um, you know, you always like run into those, like sometimes like you can run into those problems where it, the show can feel rushed, especially like when they're creating a story like or a world, you know, um, and they have to do it in a limited amount of episodes, yeah. you know, different than a, like in a book. You have you have time, you know, to put to build the, the world. And I thought they did a really good job building the world. Um, so then you can just really focus on like getting to know the characters and seeing their, you know, their strugglers. I, I struggles, struggles. I said strugglers. I think, um, I thought it was really good. It was very entertaining. Yeah. The special effects were really good. The characters were really good. Yeah. They just did a, an all in all two thumbs up from me for with sure. With that, uh, show. Yeah. We've, so since we finished that, we've started watching season two of the boys. We only got one episode right. in. Um, we totally forgot about that. So totally. Um, and we like that's that just a series. really dark superhero show, like yeah. super dark, super like very exploding gruesome. bodies and yeah. blood and guts and stuff. Um, I think that's about it. Oh well, we've so that's it for shows, I right? Don't think... Because we've done all of our podcasts, yeah, and we do like to talk about um, podcasts that we watch. So two that we watch, I watch one of these more so than you do, but one of my favorite ones to watch, and I always forget. Um, to mention it is corner of craft oh yeah she is a yarn dyer and she makes stitch markers yeah. uh, beaded stitch markers what's like her she dyeing hand, business bead, bead weaving she does bead weaving stitch markers she's chromatic yarns chromatic I think. yarns um she's in the uk she's just so lovely and she is she breaks out into song here and there which just totally makes mm. me smile and chuckle um and she does like a vlog style during the week as well so that's one that we or that i watch um, yeah i watch that like when I'm at home working, it's mm-hmm. one of the ones when I see a new one, I'll um, throw on. And another one that we have watched probably for the past several months and we just we always forget to mention is Mace of Skeins. Oh, yeah. Macy over Macy. at Mace of Skeins. Yes. She is a yarn dyer. Mm-hmm. Um, she has an Etsy shop and she's just always happy. She's just got really great, like full of energy. Um, her yeah. colors are beautiful. She just did. She releases her yarn in collections. Yep. She she just did a spring collection and um had like a limited quantities of April showers and May flowers and oh April my God, showers they were was beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and I'm surprised that we don't have any of her yarn yet. I know. I, I we, we need to get on that because she does really good. Yeah, job. she's a really great dyer. So mm-hmm. um, check those two out. Those are some of the podcasts that we've watched over yep, the past. You'll find and those then, linked below. Yeah, we have a, a list of our like faves and we rotate it every ep- every episode just with some people that yeah. we watch we use them often. as like suggestions you can always go to you know i i don't know sub- our sub- like see who we subscribe, subscribe to, to if you're looking for you know for something but we try every couple of weeks to have you know some new podcasts that we watch um you know down there just so that you can click on it the link it'll take you right to their youtube channel mm-hmm. and you know just give them a try because it's, you know, I think it's really important and, and fun to be able to share, like, people, different people and different perspectives. Everybody's bringing yeah. something, like, new. It's such a cool community. Um, I couldn't agree more. So Great. What, what have we been reading? I finished two books. Oh, and we have to do our question. Oh, question of the day. Ready? Ready. What is something that you've learned recently? I'll go first. 
Are you going to talk about the dishwasher thing? I totally freaking am. So we go, I get totally lost in TikTok. Days go by. Totally and lost I look, where I can't even get his attention sometimes. Yeah, he can't even talk to me. Like days go by. I look up, I look down, watch TikTok. I look back up and it's like Friday and I started watching on Tuesday. That's kind of how it feels sometimes. But I was watching the other day and I didn't know this. And I don't know if maybe this is a well-known fact about dishwashers. But did you know that <laughs> did you know that your top shelf drops down? There are these little things on each side. You press them, press them in, and it drops down a level so you can put your wine glasses in there. I mean, I don't know if it's just wine glasses, but that's what I typically that's struggle what, with right. putting in the top rack of the dishwasher. So, like a person would, I got up and I checked. And, and he had to up. call me in. I said, look at this. No, you oh. said, look what I learned on TikTok. But I did it first to make sure it worked. And then I called you in right. to show you that it does work. And What if just, it didn't work and you broke our dishwasher? That would have been pretty bad. That would have been pretty crappy. Because yeah. TikTok made me do it is not a valid excuse. No, TikTok totally made me do it. No, yeah. it is a valid excuse. It's not excuse. a valid excuse. But that's what I learned. What have you learned? Something you've learned in the last two weeks. I think I've learned in the last two weeks. Yeah. Something you didn't know that now you do. But they're coming out with a new He-Man? Okay, perfect. Okay. So, if you'd like to join along, leave a comment below on something that you've learned over the last two weeks. Hmm. So I like that. I, I need some more time to think. Because I really what, like that question. Okay, back to what we've been reading. I finished two books, both by K.F. Breen in the uh, Midlife Crisis series, Magical Midlife series. I finished Magical Midlife Dating which is book two. Mm. And then I finish Magical Midlife Invasion. That one, I, I've actually loved all three that I've read so far. I've already downloaded the fourth one and I'll start that tonight. I just love the characters in the series. In this most recent book, uh, the main character's parents came to the house that she's kind of like inherited. And she's all like magical and learning and stuff now, but her parents have no freaking idea. And I feel like it's in... In, in some other book or TV where it's like... Oh, sorry. I knocked the table. People only see what they want to see. So they don't... Right. Right? So it was the same thing. Her parents... Magical things happen around them, but they only saw what they wanted to see. It's just a great... It made me laugh. There was a Princess Bride reference in it. It's just such a good light read. Nice. I'm, I'm just enjoying it. Awesome. And you? Oh, I finished um, Good Omens, the... Pre... Pardon. The Nice and Accurate Prophecies of Agnes Nutter Witch by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Guys, so I I wish I listened to the audiobook okay. instead of reading it. Um I did not find the the book entertaining. I mean no, I didn't find it as funny as um, I know it's supposed to be, if that makes sense. So I read at nighttime. It could be totally just mm -hmm. me and getting in my mindset. Um, the Because the humor is pretty good. It's like comes out of left field sometimes. It, you know, as typical like British humor um, is. I think it's, it's funny. But um, the story is basically a, a demon and a, an angel who've been on like earth for a really long time and it's the apocalypse pretty much the end of the world is coming um the antichrist has been like brought to the world as a baby and they were trying to the overall plan is to like switch him with this family to like turn it you know the family is basically like an evil or kind of family and then like you know let so the like chaos nature ensue over nature type of thing? yeah but anyway, the babies were switched, and um, and one of the main characters is now the baby, um, the child, who's like 11 years old. And then there's these like witch hunters and the demon and angel are trying to like thwart um, Armageddon. Um, they realize there's a mistake. Anyway, a lot of cool things do happen. It's a really neat story, um, and there's a lot of humor there, but I didn't laugh out loud and I feel like I would have had I read it 
because I'm or reading. Listen to it. That's what I meant. Listen to it, because like as I'm reading it, I'm like I'm going past things. I'm like, wait a minute, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh my god, it's a joke. Oh, oh. that's a joke. Haha. <laughs> you know, like funny and entertaining, but not like, you know, what those jokes you get right away that just yeah. make you like laugh out loud. I was really looking forward to do to that. So I will read. I'll I'll listen to it. Okay. Maybe again over the summertime, but I did finish that. Um, and I'm currently reading um, Shadow and Bones because I really enjoyed the um, the show. The show, and I'm really enjoying this book. The book's really it's good. like right up my alley. It's easy read. Um, yeah. totally, totally what I need right now. Easy, easy peasy. All right, lemon squeezy. That's so it. That's it. That's everything that we have for you, and we are right on our normal. Ooh. Hour and forty five minutes. Okay, so I feel look like at we us had go. So much stuff. We probably I talked t- way too. I fast. feel like I, maybe I rushed, but who knows? You will let us know if you didn't, if we rushed. So you, me, you, or no, you, them, them, our viewers. Oh, if you, um, you're a so, you, them. So thank you everybody for hanging out with us for the last hour forty five. Yeah, if you're still here. I love getting together with you all. I do. <laughs> I thought you were going into a full on like another tangent. Oh, yeah, where we were gonna be like, okay, thanks. I for totally spending could. The next two hours. So no, we have to. Um, we actually we have a cookout to get to today. I know, and it's past um, past and, your bedtime. No, and it's like lunchtime for Tarquin. Is so, it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. I know. So if you guys are still here, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff, and so we will. Be sure if you're interested to join us on our our little knit night knit day thing. Crafty, to sign up below. Sign up below. We'll. Um, first 100 people is the first come first serve yeah. kind of thing um, because we can only host 100 um check out all the coupon codes and stuff support our support um support some indie makers. indie makers um especially keep your eye on um super fine yarn code because the coupon code expires um the 27 the 27th so all right. get on that and with that hope you guys have a great uh two weeks and we will see you all in a fortnight we will Goodbye. bye guys